Welcome. In this video, I'm going to go over the process of mounting a network file share on Windows Subsystem for Linux. So I've done some previous videos on Windows Subsystem for Linux, and I'll put a link in the description to my Windows 10 playlist where you can find those videos. So to get started, we need to mount the network share and map the drive. So I'm going to go down to my Windows Files Explorer. I'll click in my address bar here. I'll click down and go to this PC. And I'm not seeing my network drive, so I'm just going to type the address of it here in my address bar and mine is DS918, and this is a Synology DS918 NAS. So I'm already logged into this, but if I wasn't, it would ask me for my username and password. So I want to find the share that I want to use in Windows Subsystem for Linux, and the one I want to use is DS Share. So I'll right click on that, and I'll go to Map Network Drive. I'll choose a drive letter. I'll just choose E. And there are some other options here. You have Reconnect at Sign In, Connect Using Different Credentials. So I'll hit Finish here. So now we have the E drive mapped. I can close out of this. I'll close out of this. I'll go down to my search here and I'll just type bash to get to my shell. Okay, I've increased the font size a little bit. Hopefully it's easier to read. So I'm going to be typing commands here on the screen, but I'll also put a link below to my website where I'll have these commands so you can copy and paste them or you can see them more clearly at least. So first I want to go to the MNT or the mount directory. So I'll type CD space forward slash MNT, I'll hit enter, I'll type LS here. So you can see here we have C, D, and WSL. I want to create a mount point here, so I'll type sudo space MKDIR space E. I'll hit enter, it'll ask me for my password, I'll type that in. Now if I type LS again, we'll see we have that E directory there. Clear my screen. Now we want to mount the drive, so I'll type sudo space mount space dash T space DRVFS, and that DRVFS is for Windows Subsystem for Linux for mounting map drives. I'll hit space, I'll type E colon space forward slash MNT forward slash E. I'll hit enter. Now if we go into that directory, I'll type CD space E, I'll type LS here, and we can see the files in there. So I can go into one of these directories. This is my lossless music collection. And I can hit find, and I can see all my music there. So I'll back out of this. Now if I type ls space e, we can see the files there. Now if I want to unmount this, I can type sudo space umount, and notice that's umount and not unmount. And I'll do space e. Now if I type ls space e, hit enter, now we don't see anything. We know it's unmounted now. So you can have this mount automatically. So I'll clear my screen here. And to do that, you want to type in sudo space, and I'm going to be using nano. You can use vi or emacs or whatever. So I'll type sudo space nano space forward slash etc forward slash fs tab. I'll hit enter. I'll go down to the next line. So here I want to type e colon tab forward slash mnt forward slash e tab drvfs tab defaults tab zero tab zero. I'll hit enter. I'll hit control o to save, control x to exit. Now I'll type sudo space mount space dash a. I'll hit enter. Now if I type ls space e, we'll see that drive is mounted up. So that should auto mount the drive. So if we exit out of here, we'll go back in. We'll go back to that mount directory and we'll type ls space dash e. We see it's loaded up here. So needless to say, you have to have access to your remote drive. If it's not mapped in Windows, it's not going to work here, obviously. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.